In this video, we are going to learn how to solve simple linear regression with Casio FS Nagar 1 ES plus calculator easily in a matter of seconds, especially for multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, you will be able to solve problems involving simple linear regression with the Casio calculator. So, ensure you stay with me to the end of this video. Okay, so let's begin by going through what I have written under this slide. So, generally, the formula for solving simple linear regression questions is what I have here. We are y equals beta b0 plus beta b1 times x plus e. So, we are e stands for random error. So, I'm calling it error term. We are beta b0 stands for intercept and beta b1 is the slope. So, having known this, also note that this formula is also applicable for solving linear regression. So this one is the same thing with this one. It's just that in this one, this beta b0 was replaced with a. And beta b1 times x was replaced with beta um, b times x. So they both mean the same thing. Don't be confused. Okay, so having known this, let's get the Casio calculator and dive into the calculations properly. Okay, as usual, before I begin to solve anything, I recommend you clear your calculator. The essence of clear your calculator is to remove or wipe out whatever previous calculations you might have computed with the calculator that is not interfere with the current one you want to do. And to do that, you simply press shift button 9 the instruction one declare or press three press to connect press to it again so it's not clear so let's not solve this question so this remember linear regression is on statistics that means we solve this question under statistics mode and to put the calculator under statistics you press mode so statistics option three press three now when you get to this stage or this point you go for category two that's what you use to solve for simple linear regression. So press 2. So let's infuse the S and Y values respectively. So let's start from S values. So the values for X in this question under million by S. So we have it to be so we have it to be 4.3 uh, 4.3 4.5 let me try and be faster in the values 4.3 4.5 so we have 5.9 there okay we have 6.3 okay we have 3.4 3.4 we have 5.2 5.2 we have 4.7 Okay, we have three point three, three point three, and lastly we have four point one. All right, very very interesting. Okay, so let's input the values for y, which is the currency. So we have one for y. We have one for three. Okay. We have 142, 142.5, 142.5, we have 145.3, okay, we have 146.5, 146.5, okay. So we have our 141.2, 141.2, very, very interesting. And we have our 144, 144. We have our 142, 142.1. All right. We have our 139. 139 and lastly we have a 145.1 okay guys so having finished infusing the respective values 
Note that as they are entering the values, the calculator was storing the values automatically. So once you are done, you press AC to wipe it. And let's now find the intercept, which is the B base, beta base zero, or which is the same thing with the, with the A. So either you are using A or using beta base zero. So to do that, you go to shift button one. Look at if you look at one, you see start. It's not top of it. Press shift button one. Remember, I do regression. So five starts for regression. You press option five. So look at A. Which is something as better be zero the intercepts. So you press one option A, then press the button. So we have one three four point five two. 019 as our intercept okay to get the beta base one which is the slope or uh, to get the b is there call it the b or the beta base one so to do that you remove this go back to shift start regression so look at b press option two and then press support two. So this is the value for our slope beta base one or our B 1.870942201. So this is our slope. Okay, guys, lastly for this question, let me say that even we we are asked to find let me show you regression the R which is correlation coefficient just press the way and to come out press the code two, and this will be your r so guys this is it how you can solve problems involving simple linear regression with the Cartier calculator and save time in exam so with this we are coming to the end of the class if you are new to our channel if you are subscribe to our channel for more of our videos also like share and comment to this video but that don't want to learn to this class. If you seem to have any specific question to ask, please please to leave your question in the comment section below and I'll be sure to give a response. That's it for this class, guys. Thanks for watching this video.